Hello family, Pastor Lalu here from Christian Pentecostal Church. We'll continue our series on uh, the armor of God and our daily devotionals. Uh, I mean, uh, and uh, last week we finished off on the shield of faith, specifically regarding the density of the shield, being our trust in God determines the density of our shield, which in effect determines the effectiveness of our shield, being able to quench the fiery darts of the evil one. This week, we're going to start on the helmet of salvation. Uh, our verse of scripture is found in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 17. Plain and simply, it says, and take the helmet of salvation. Of all the armor, it is the only one. It's the shortest one in the sense of it's, the, it's what's described shortest. There's no addition. There's nothing else spoken about it as opposed to like just take on. The helmet of, of salvation or take the helmet of salvation like you know if if we look at you know the shield of faith you know it talks about by which take on the shield of faith by which you quench the fiery dust of the enemy take on the you know have your feet shot with the provision of the gospel of peace you know it there's there's little something expounded upon with each other at each other portion of the armor but when it comes to the helmet of salvation it just simply says take the helmet of salvation like you should just know you know, that, that's almost kind of like what it's saying. Like, you should just know that this is what you have to do. And you should know why you have to do it. And, uh, you know, when we look at the uh, Roman soldier's armor, um, the helmet was not something that you, you, your armor wasn't complete without the helmet. The helmet was designed to actually protect the entire head, protect the back of the neck. It even had like a little like brow guard and everything where it's like, Without that, you were exposed. Your entire head was exposed. And, you know, put bluntly, if you think about it in, like, all these video games that people play these days and or that, you know, that are popular, one of the, and I remember one of the key things when you play is, you know, people always aim for what's called a headshot because a headshot is considered an instant kill. Now, if you don't have a helmet to protect your head, that's an instant kill. It's instant defeat. And the crucial and interesting thing is that the helmet is the helmet of salvation without salvation you're dead you're dead plain and simple so we find that you know in as paul talks about it in uh the apostle paul talks about it in ephesians chapter 6 verse 17 he didn't just leave it there though to the ephesians when he's describing the armor of god that's all he said but to Thessalonians, however, he broke it down a little bit more. So if you turn with me, please, to Thessalonians, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. I'm going to read from verse 1. I'm going to read all the way to verse 9. So 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 1 through 9. It says, But of the times and the seasons, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you. But see, even in this, he's saying, you should just know that I shouldn't have to write this. You should know. But just in case you don't, let's talk about it. It says, For yourselves... No, for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. But ye, brethren, ye, brethren, are not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief. So, you know, when people say, and the Lord shall come as a thief in the night, but the Apostle Paul says, but we of the household of faith, the Lord's coming should not overtake us as a thief in the night. That's exactly what he just said in verse 4 here. He says, but ye, brethren, are not in darkness, because we are not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief. Ye are all the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. For they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and for an helmet, the hope of salvation. For God hath not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ. And I'm going to, that's verse 9, I'm going to do 10 and 11 as well. It says, who died for us that whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with him. Wherefore, 
comfort yourselves together and edify one another, even as also ye do. The Apostle Paul tells us to take on the helmet of salvation as part of the armor of God. What is the helmet of salvation? What is salvation? You know, okay, if we say the helmet protects our head. Without it, headshot, we're gone. But the helmet protects our head. What needs to be protected? It says the hope of salvation. Salvation, what is that? It is the gift of God. We know that. We can't earn it. Nothing you can do can earn salvation. Salvation is the fact that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. While we were yet enemies with God, Christ came and paid the ransom for us to be saved. He paid the penalty of all our of all our iniquities, of all our sins, of all our ridiculousness, of all our disobedience to God. He paid that penalty. And he says, here, I'm giving you this free gift. It's free to you. But to Christ, it was not. He paid what people like to call the ultimate sacrifice. He freely gave his life to save us. Now that salvation also means that once we receive that free gift, we are children of the living God. We are not of the night, we are of the day. And the Apostle Paul says, because we're of the day, walk sober. Walk sober, in seriousness, watchful, understanding the seasons that we're in, knowing full well that the enemy's on the prowl, that he's on the attack, and guard your head with that salvation. Now, salvation, because we have peace with God, we are now his children. We have been adopted heirs of the kingdom. The helmet of salvation also establishes our identity in Christ. I am a child of God. You, if you are saved, you are a child of the living God. What more? What, who could be greater than the living God? If I believe that, if I know that, if that is here, if I am protected, if my entire head, the thing that I, the faculty that I use to think, to move, to talk, if that is guarded, and shielded by the fact that I know that I'm a child of the living God, that no matter what the devil throws against me, no matter what his minions throws against me, nothing can bring me down. No headshot here. I am a child of the living God. You are a child of the living God. Daddy's got you. Daddy's got me. God bless you and have a blessed day.